I have many clients come to me and say, Will, we want to buy new construction and only look at new construction. We don't want to have to clean somebody else's grime and mess after they move out. And I don't want anyone to ever have sat on my toilet in my house. That's fair. If you're thinking about buying new construction here in Greenville, you're in luck. New construction currently makes up 41% of all residential inventory in our local MLS. Sounds crazy, right? It kind of is. But over the last few years, less and less people have been motivated and have brought their home to market. So we're seeing less resale and more new construction inventory hit the market. So if you're thinking about moving to Greenville, there's some things that you need to consider before buying new construction versus resale. As always, my name is Will Sawyer, your friend in real estate here in the upstate of South Carolina. And if you're thinking about moving to the area, or if you're just curious about learning more information about the area, we wanna be your number one resource for all things that you need to know about moving to Greenville. So please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and leave us a comment in the comment section. We'd love to meet you there, and call me if you are actually thinking about moving here. So purchasing a new home today looks a lot different than it has in the last two or three years. No more bidding wars on new construction homes. No more price increases at the 11th hour if the builder's costs changed. And there's actually great monetary incentive for a buyer to buy a new construction home today. So over the last couple of years with the constraint on supply chain, builders really didn't know what it was gonna cost um, to build the house before they were close to being done. So what they were doing is they were putting waivers in their contract where, you know, we can get your house under contract for $400,000, but if we come in and our margins shrink and we have a set margin that we have to make, we're gonna raise that cost 40, 50, 60 grand sometimes. And you have to either say yes to that new price or we'll let you release and walk away after months of waiting on that to happen. And I actually had that happen to some clients of mine in the 11th hour, one week before closing, the builder came to them and said, hey, we're raising the price by $40,000. And they ended up not buying the house because they were totally sidelined at the last second. So to avoid that from happening, builders started to not allow contracts to be written on homes until the roof was on and they had all of the materials ordered for the home. So buyers couldn't make selections after the home started being built and they couldn't even write a contract on the home until it was halfway done. So like I mentioned in the beginning, uh, the current state of new construction has certainly changed for builders and for buyers alike. So builders are very incentivized to move this inventory that's just sitting on the market month after month after month because they're paying taxes on these houses, they're paying interest to the banks for the loans that they have out to build these houses. So what they're doing is they're offering some amazing incentives for clients to come in and buy these homes that we previously have not seen over the last two or three years. So just yesterday, I had some folks in from Florida and we looked at three or four different houses. The last home that we looked at was in a new construction community. And this builder currently is offering $21,000 off the price of the house. And since they're a cash buyer, they took it right off the price. And that is absolutely unheard of. Just last week, I got some other clients under contract on another home. That builder was offering all of the appliances, which usually builders only offer the range, the microwave, and the dishwasher. However, this builder included the refrigerator, the washer and dryer, and they paid for two years worth of the HOA fees, which was about $18,000 incentive for them. So a lot of these incentives usually come if you use the builder's preferred attorney and their preferred lender. And in years past, builders would offer $2,000, $3,000, maybe $5,000 if you use both their lender and their attorney. But what they did is they somehow wrapped it back up in fees, so you really didn't save that much money. Well, now what I'm having my clients do who are wanting to buy new construction is get a quote from the preferred lender and see what your savings are there, and also get a quote with one of my preferred lenders because oftentimes what my preferred lenders can do 
is almost match, if not match, what the preferred lender's doing. But if you're talking 10, 15, 20 thousand dollars, these folks over here, the preferred lenders that we work with, really aren't going to be able to match that, and they totally understand that. Definitely use in that case the preferred lender with the builder and the closing attorney that works with the builder, and you're going to come out better. So another great benefit of buying a new construction home versus a resale home is all of the warranties that you get that the builders offer in your first year, your second year, and up to 10 years after you buy the home. So usually every builder across the board is going to offer some type of one year or six month punch list warranty. So that means at the 11th month after you buy your house, you reach out to the builder and you ask them to come back to your home and they'll repair nail pops, they'll repair any blemishes that have happened to the home within that first year. They'll probably not paint though because they can't warrant that it looks the exact same as what the current paint is on the walls. And then up to that second year, they'll warrant all the systems in the house. So everything behind the walls, like the electrical systems or the HVAC systems or the plumbing systems. And if you have any significant issues with any of those systems within that first two years, the builder will come out and fix any issues going on with those. And then here in South Carolina, every builder is required to offer a 10 year structural warranty so if you have issues significant issues with structural sagging maybe some significant cracks that you notice in your ceiling or in your slab or your crawl space you can call the builder and for the first 10 years that you own that house uh, since it was built they'll have to come out and fix it if it's deemed a significant issue and it needs to be repaired so there's got to be some negative about buying new construction right well there's not really a lot of negatives right now with the financial incentives that you get everything's brand new in the house a lot of these communities have great amenities like pools walking paths playgrounds possibly rivers that run through these neighborhoods with trails along the river a lot of great things about buying a new home right now but you know nothing's perfect so the first thing that would come to mind that would be a negative about buying a new construction home would be the lot size is probably going to be a little bit smaller especially if it's in one of these larger communities on average i see most of the new homes that are on the market have a lot size of 0.15 to 0 0.23 0 0.24 0 0.25 acres right which isn't a lot of space especially if you have a big home so if y'all have dogs that you want to have a lot of room in your backyard so that they can run and play fetch. Well, on a new construction quarter acre or lot, you're not gonna have a ton of space. You'll have plenty of yard, right? But it's just not gonna be a ton of space relative to like half an acre or an acre of land. So another consideration that may be a negative when buying new construction or building new construction is having your home built from the ground up. Usually, here in our area, it's gonna take six to nine months for that process to come to closing once you start. So if you don't have six to nine months to wait, that might be a problem for you. Another thing that you might wanna consider, which kind of tailors off of my first point, is a lot of these new construction homes are in neighborhoods, right? And if you don't wanna be in a neighborhood with an HOA where people tell you what you can and can't do on your lot, then if you still want to buy new construction or build new construction but you don't want to be in a neighborhood we do have relationships with builders who will build off-site and will build your floor plan or a version of their floor plan and one builder in particular they'll even buy your lot for you and conventionally finance the build of the home so you put 10 to 20 percent down and they'll finance the whole entire build and you pay it just like you're buying resale at closing, which is gonna save you a ton of money and loan costs because you're not doing a construction to perm loan, which can be pretty expensive once you start making those monthly payments and those draw payments. So if you're thinking about buying a home here in Greenville, I really think we should look at new construction or at least consider it as an option because for all the things mentioned previously, builders are basically rolling out the red carpet for you to buy a home from them. So if that's on your radar, please reach out to me directly at my cell phone number below or reach out to me at my email below 
and I would love to send you an exclusive list of homes for sale that particular builders have on the market currently or to generally chat about new construction homes here and Greenville that are on the market now. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please leave us a like, subscribe to our channel, and leave us a comment in the comment section. Thank you so much.